This is an excerpt from the audiobook of From Coping to Thriving, How to Turn Self-Care into a Way of Life by Hannah Brame from becomingwhoyouare.net. 17. Halt. Needs. Acceptance, compassion, empathy, nurturing, self-respect, stability, support, to know and be known, trust, air, food, connection, rest and sleep, water, presence, effectiveness, to matter. HALT is a well-known acronym within behavioral addiction theory. It describes four unmet needs that might leave us in a vulnerable state. Even though it originates from addiction treatment, HALT is a valuable principle when applied to everyday situations, addiction or no addiction, as it contains four very basic needs that we need to meet to be properly taking care of ourselves. How it works. HALT stands for hungry, angry, lonely, tired. If you feel any of those things, HALT. Eat something healthy and wholesome. Search for the unmet need underneath the anger and turn it into a request. Call a friend you trust and with whom you can connect. Go to sleep or take a nap. It sounds simple, and it is. The trick lies in having a connection with our bodies and minds to be conscious of when we have one or more of the above needs and to be conscious of what we can do to meet those unmet needs as fully as possible. Why it works. When we experience any of the halt feelings, we have basic physical and emotional needs that we aren't meeting. When we continue to leave those needs unmet, we're not empathizing with them. When we're not empathizing with our own needs, we won't be able to empathize with others. When we're not able to empathize with ourselves and others, communication breaks down. We're not showing up as our best selves in our relationship with ourselves, so we're not showing up as our best selves in our relationships with others either. If we're experiencing one or more halt feelings but carry on regardless, we're more likely to act out in our communication with others and turn to unhealthy coping mechanisms that band-aid these unmet needs. The next time you experience any of the halt feelings, stop and think before you do anything else. What can I do to meet this need right now? Respecting your innate needs is one of the most fundamental and self-loving acts possible. If you enjoyed listening to this excerpt from From Coping to Thriving, How to Turn Self-Care into a Way of Life, you may want to listen to the rest of the audiobook. You can find it on Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. You might also like the author's website, becomingwhoyouare.net, where you can find more content related to what you've just heard from the author, Hannah Brame.